What is going on guys? It's Justin from the J Media back with another video. So a few videos back you guys might have noticed that the rally art is down. So if you guys don't know what's going on, I have the Civic SI back as the daily driver temporarily because my rally art is down. It's pretty dark right now, but she's just been parked on the side of the street. And if you guys aren't up to date on what happened, we do have these stock wheels right here on the rear. The front, we have the RPF ones. So pretty much what happened, I was driving home one night and the caliper, this side, the passenger front caliper, just fell off. So yeah, crazy. The uh, One of the bolts came out and that was pretty sketchy, pretty dangerous. Uh, pretty much the caliper made a hole in the wheel. So yeah, that's why I'm pretty much rocking mismatched fronts and rears let's go into the house and show you guys the damage that's been done to the old wheel all right so let's take a look here this is the old wheel and if we flip it around i'm hoping we can still reuse this tire you can see that this was where it was flat Still looks okay, pretty good thread life. Only thing is, we'll bring it to the shop and they have to see if the thing is okay. I think it should be okay. It should hold air. So yeah, if you look on the inside of the wheel, the caliper was rubbing so bad over here. Constantly so bad to the point that we made a hole. Pretty much made holes. On the wheel itself and yeah that's how air escaped and uh punctured the air and there's no air in the tire that's the damage done to the old wheel all right and from the title of this video you guys already know new wheel for the rally art so by new wheel i don't mean new brand new set of wheels what i mean is a new replacement wheel I would love to get brand new set of wheels like T37s on the rally yard, but maybe one day. For now, on a budget, we'll just replace the RPF1. So brand new Anki RPF1. Fun fact, I've been through quite a few set of RPF1s. I had RPF1s on my EK. I had RPF1s on my, let's see, I had a black set on the EK. I had a black set uh, on the RSX, a silver set on the RSX. SBC set that never ran so I went through like four sets. This is my fifth set of RPF ones actually that I own I've always bought them used. This is the very first time. I'm getting it brand new. Yes, not the whole set, but uh, Just one wheel replacement wheel. So let's go ahead and unbox it and see how it looks All right, let's go ahead and unbox it. Very nice. Japanese wheels, you know, I love my Japanese wheels. I always say that on a budget, RPF1 wheels, they look good on everything and they don't break the bank. Great quality wheels from Japan. Ooh, nice little unboxing. what else is in the box so you have this little manual very cool let's see what else we have here oh nice little blue valve stem never knew they came with these really cool like I said my very first set of brand new RPF one and if you guys are wondering what spec this is that I'm running on the rally art I ran the same spec that the previous owner Jeff ran which is the 18 by eight and a half plus 40 offset. And you know, obviously the bulb header is a five by 114.3. Um, it's a little more of a conservative setup. I'm not trying to run super crazy, go super camber gang, you know, super low, none of that stuff. Um, on the Lancer, if you guys are wondering, I'm running 18 by nine and a half plus 22. So definitely more aggressive. But on the daily with the rally art, I just want something not too crazy. So yeah. The plan is I'm still going to keep this wheel on the outside. It doesn't look too bad. So what I might do is I might keep this as like a nice host reel or display piece. What do you guys think? Also, if you guys want to check to see if your RPF ones are real or replicas, 
on the back of the hub it has all the information this is Anki Japan the size 18 by 8 and a half you know the weight and all that goodies is just stamped on here um, sometimes they also have a sticker on the side of the barrel in this case this one probably got rot off from all that scraping but if you look over here at the new wheel you can see it's a nice little sticker right here this sticker is pretty much a sticker of uh, authenticity to tell you it's real and not a replica and one cool thing about RPF1 wheels just like how I love my race wheels like I said they are made in Japan and they're super light as well on average each RPF1 wheel probably weighs about 15 pounds or so uh, versus if you got you know some other wheels they might weigh like 20 to 25 pounds same with race wheels and I probably say this a lot over the years but my favorite brands of wheels I love to run race wheels as well as Enki wheels on a daily like I said I've went through like five different sets of RPF ones specifically Enki RPF ones over the years uh, so great durable wheel doesn't break the bank um, if you buy them brand new in this spec 18 by eight and a half plus 40 I paid I think 360 something dollar per wheel so again depends on the size if you get 15s or 16s it's gonna be cheaper 18s a little higher in price but um, yeah if you do the math you might be paying about 13 to 1500 depending on you know what kind of specs uh, for the wheels just the wheels but if you look for them used in the marketplace you can typically find them anywhere from like 800 to a thousand dollars used wheels and tires um, so yeah if you guys want to pick up a set for cheap doesn't break the bank great quality lightweight wheels and key rpf ones it's, you know it's a good wheel and of course my all-time favorite brand of wheels are race wheels so if your budget's a little bit higher, you could go for race wheels. Um, you could start with the entry level race gram light wheels, which costs roughly about, let's see. Actually, I have race gram light wheels on the Civic Si, which is my daily, my X daily. <laughs> so here are the race gram light 57 DR wheels in 17 by nine. So yeah, I love them. Um, they were previously on my old RSX before I transferred it to the SI. And you could probably find a set brand new for about, I say 15 to 1800. I feel like they used to be cheaper, but with COVID, the wait time for race wheels are super long. And I feel like the price kind of went up a little bit. Use, you might be able to find a set 12 to $1,500 for race gram lights. Uh, or if you want to spend more on T37s, uh, you could probably pay like close to four thousand dollars. Again, my pricing is in U.S. dollars, so yeah. Um, you guys know I absolutely love my wheels, my JDM wheels, my JDM parts. So yeah, that also extends to wheels. Um, right now, uh, pretty much on the builds. Little recap on my Mitsubishi Lancer GT, the show build. We have raised T37 SLs on the Civic Si. We have raised Grim Light 57 DRs. On the S2000, we have slightly different, but Spoon SW388 wheels, also super iconic wheels. And on the Rally Yard, we have Enki RPF1s. The goal is hopefully one day we'll get that thing on some Graham Lights or T37s, hopefully. Yeah, since I have this wheel out, let me go ahead and flip it over and show you guys. So again, brand new wheel. Stickers and everything. It's all still on there, fresh nice little sticker tells you made in japan the date it was made and everything who's inspected by and on the inside wheel specs anki japan just so you know it's a real wheel very nice first brand new rpf ones that i own <laughs> and i'll be transferring over the oem tpms sensor from this rpf one over to the new one like I said, hopefully fingers crossed tire is good. Worst case, I might have to spend money on a new tire, but tire thread looks pretty good. So hopefully we can reuse it, holds air, and runs good. And like I said, from the outside, it looks like the wheel still looks fine. It's just on the inside, obviously, it can't hold air. So what that means is I can be running on this wheel unless I want to spend money getting it repaired, which I don't think is worth it. So I'm going to keep this as like a display piece. You know, I could have it as a display piece. As a hose reel, I see my friend put hose, water hose outside on the garden. That looks pretty cool. Some people use this as a nice little table. You can put like 
piece of glass, make it a small little coffee table. So yeah, little ornament piece. All right, we have both the new wheel as well as the old wheel and tire in the car. So my wife is actually going to help me take this uh, to the mechanic shop tomorrow. And I figured just might as well make a little video for you guys since the RPF1 literally just came in today and she'll be heading to the shop to run an errand. She's going to get her car checked there at the shop. So I told her, hey, if you don't mind, can you help me bring that wheel and tire so I can get it mounted? As soon as I get that new tire, well, the old tire mount on the new wheel and everything's good, there's a leak air or anything like that, we can slap it back on the rally art and we should be good to go. Um, yes, I've been enjoying driving the SI. Hopefully I'll be able to make more videos with the SI while I have it here at the house. But I also do miss driving the rally art. The rally art with all-wheel drive and more power. Now that I'm going back to the SI, this thing definitely feels slower even though it's no slouch. So I hope you guys like that new wheel review. I know some of you guys might be like, what new wheels are you getting? It might be a little disappointed, it's the same wheel. But hey, I'm glad to be able to drive the rally art again in the future. Maybe we'll save up for some nice quality wheels like some race gram lights or T37s. So again, if you guys stay to the end, make sure to leave a thumbs up, hit the subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.